Today I am in Omoro district which is located in the northern part of Uganda. You might see I'm holding something in my hand and I want to talk about something later today that as a farmer you might have to know or some farmers are actually using it. What you can see right here is an herbicide and these are actually non-selective systematic herbicide so this one is for weeds uh, i understand there are different ways of clearing garden nowadays and there are different ways of farming there is uh, a lot of mechanized agriculture that has come in some people are doing organic farming some people are doing inorganic farming so it's quite uh it's quite wide nowadays. It actually varies from farmer to farmer. So these are two different herbicides from two different companies. I would say this one is called Rainbow uh, on my right. Then we have this one is called Kaosa, which I think is from Kena Grow. I don't know. Uh, this this is from this is actually a product of Kenya but this is a product of China because that is from what I can see indicated on the bottle. So now you can see behind me is actually a garden and this garden is not clean as you can see. So now uh, this farmer has decided as a way of clearing his garden maybe he feels uh, bringing people to, to, to clear it or maybe bringing ox plow or bringing perhaps tractor would be costly to him. So he decided to use this non-selective herbicide. So let me let me have this for now for, for our demonstration. So this herbicide, what you always do, of course you have to bring in your knapsack sprayer. Uh, let's say a sprayer of 20 liters, for example, of course, the first thing you always do is to fill it with the water, 20 liters, some almost uh, getting full. And then what you do, you can see this, this thing in my hand. Uh, this is actually around 50 milliliters. So what you do, you pour your herbicide right here up to 50 milliliters. And then you pour it in a 20 liter water which is in your sprayer so after pouring your herbicide another thing you might have to put in which actually is recommended by many farmers most people will use this i've said that you also need to put in salt so you might notice that i have salt with me uh, this is table salt and oral iodated edible salt this is a product of kenya also yeah and uh, those are the only two things you need so in other words you'll need your herbicide and then you'll also need your what you'll need your salt then you measure so depending on the size of your garden you can be you put in 20 liters you spray you know you keep on spraying so this garden right here seems to be a little big I've seen these farmers bought this herbicide, about four of them, four or five of them. So in one, you may ask that uh, the salt in one, you know, in one, in 20 liters has to be like this. This is around 500 grams. So basically that is it. If you've been asking about uh, spraying your garden with weed or using this non-selective herbicide, and yes, from the example i've seen it actually works very perfectly very perfectly there is an example of a garden that was just sprayed a few days ago i'll try to see if i can show you the photos otherwise my name is charles and of course i am the ugandan farmer bringing to you farming stories from northern uganda it's high time to involve young people to involve many individuals to venture into the agricultural sector of Uganda because together we can actually fight poverty and hunger through agriculture. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe. I'll see you 
in the next video.